Hello, this is Greg Gomez from Neil Analytics, and today I'd like to talk about simulations. It's an exciting area that we're seeing more and more of as we engage with customers who are looking to optimize both business process, processes and uh, industrial or manufacturing type processes. Um, simulations, by definition, are a model or imitation of a real world process. Um, what's great about simulations is it allows subject matter experts, process engineers, uh, practitioners, if you will, uh, the ability to design, um, um, do what if analysis and predict how a process will perform in the real world without any of the uh, side effects or challenges that might occur. Um, I, like, I like to take the example of uh, training an airline pilot. Uh, you, you don't take a new pilot and put him in the front seat of a $100 million aircraft full of passengers and start to teach them how to fly. They learn using a flight simulator where the worst thing that could happen if they were to crash in the simulation is perhaps uh, damage to their ego. Um, again, simulations give us this opportunity to, to, uh, to, to work with these complex processes in a safe environment uh, where we can change all kinds of parameters and, and settings in that environment. Um, and, and not have to deal with the consequences if something does go awry. Um, I'm going to walk through a tool that we often use and work with, and we're a partner of uh, this company, AnyLogic, and AnyLogic has a, a, a great simulation tool set. What you can see on the screen right now is the welcome page for this tool set, and you can see some of the many uh, example simulations that come with the tool out of the box. So the first one I'm going to bring up here is this distribution center simulation. As you can see, it's quite visual. Uh, I'm able to li literally look inside a 3D image of a distribution center, and I can see the major processes taking place in front of my eyes at an accelerated speed, in this case, five times uh, the, the normal time frame. Um, there's three main processes taking place in this distribution center. One is unloading the, the trucks as they come into the, to the bay and the, and the uh, receiving area. Um, the next major process is preparing orders for shipment. Uh, when orders come in, they have specifics around which products and pallets need to be part of that order. The forklifts go around and pick uh, and pull those orders from the shelves and bring them to the appropriate loading dock to assemble the order for the uh, delivery truck when it when it arrives. Uh, and then the last part of the process is actually loading those trucks with those pallets. So as you can see, those processes are playing out in front of us, and you know we can get some statistics on how well the distribution center is operating, typical of, of these simulation environments. We want to monitor some of the key metrics and goals. Uh, so we can see things like processing times, uh, utilization, and storage space to start to understand how well our process is playing out and to determine if we need to make any uh, adjustments uh, to the process. And again, the what if capabilities of simulation are, are one of the main benefits. Um, so you know, I can quickly increase the number of, of trucks that come per hour uh, to, to ship out. I, I can decrease the number of forklifts, uh, whatever, I, whatever I want to analyze and assess in order to determine if, is, if the process is operating effectively and efficiently. Um, I'm gonna bring up another example here, um, delivering products from a manufacturing center to di distribution centers, a, a, a logistics type of, of problem. Um, the beauty of, of working with a simulation and combining with AI is that I can um, take some of the, the challenging part of working with simulation, which is the what if and optimization piece and teach an AI brain or an AI agent how to, uh, to manage this process to get optimal, optimal outcomes. Um, in this particular demo, the main challenge is how do I ensure that I'm able to produce enough product in the manufacturing facility to meet the incoming demand, um, hold the right amount of inventory in that uh, center? I don't want too much because I don't want extra holding costs, but I don't want too little. Otherwise, I might not be able to meet the next order and I have to delay that fulfillment to produce more product. Uh, and then I also have a fixed number of trucks to deliver orders to uh, to the different distribution centers. So I have to balance um, you know, all those things together. And oftentimes for a human being, it's, it's challenging to consider all of the options that might uh, play into this and fine tune all those effectively. So what we can do, as is the case here, is we can teach uh, an AI brain 
how this process plays out and, and what are the key components of it. And what I'm going to do is, is pause this real quick and flip over to another tool that we use for this. And this is the, um, the Bonsai platform from Microsoft. And what Bonsai allows me to do is, uh, as I said, teach an AI agent how to manage a process. And part of this is um, describing to the agent um, you know, what the process is. Uh, what are the different um, pieces that I can control? What are the states that I need to monitor? What are the constraints that I need to work within? And what are the goals and objectives um, that I need to manage and optimize? And so this is a visual rep representation of that. And what you see at the top, are these are the inputs that are coming from the simulator. It's going to tell me if a center is open or closed. It's going to tell me uh, are my trucks available or am I fully utilized? Uh, it's going to tell me how many trucks I have uh, at each each station and my inventory levels and so on. So these are my inputs to the state. What I want to be able to do is optimize the simulation or the process so that I can achieve my goals, which are you know, to be able to deliver product in a certain time frame, maintain inventory within a certain threshold, and um, ensure that you know I'm I'm able to get products essentially to the distribution centers in a timely manner. So as those inputs are fed into the AI brain or the AI agent, it's going to assess those. It's going to assess all of the various. Um, uh, goals and objectives, for instance, one of the things that we can do with this is we can reward the AI agent for keeping the turnaround time within certain uh, high and low thresholds. And that's what you see coming up here. We're, we're giving the, the brain actually a penalty for taking too long to fulfill orders. So if it starts to see that it's being penalized, it's going to make adjustments to bring the turnaround time down into the into the area where we want it to be. Um, as, as the uh, brain assesses those environments, assesses where, where it's at within those ranges and parameters, it will then make decisions where it's going to basically say, um, you know, for a distribution center, for instance, maybe I need to open it or close it. Uh, for my trucks, maybe I don't have enough trucks running right now to meet demand. So it may increase the, the number of trucks anywhere between one and three trucks activated and so on. So this becomes a feedback loop between the simulation and the brain. And what happens is as I um, start to train the, this AI brain, the brain gets better and better at optimizing this, uh, this, this particular process. So here's the output from a training uh, run that was done with this model. It was 400,000 iterations that were run. And you can see that as it started out, it was getting penalized uh, frequently for exceeding the boundaries on some of the uh, limitations that we set. But as time went on, it very quickly got better and better uh, at managing this process to the point where it's, it's doing it very effectively. So once we have this brain trained, we can actually run the simulation, watch the brain optimize the simulation and learn from it. Or we can actually turn around and actually deploy the brain in the real world so that it begins to make recommendations to the real world systems that manage and govern these processes, effectively being a real time uh, oversight agent, if you will, to ensure that this process is constantly optimized. If you're interested in uh, playing around with the AnyLogic tool yourself, you can go to um, AnyLogic, or excuse me, cloud.anylogic.com. Uh, and all of these examples are available in the browser, in the web version of, of cloud.anylogic.com. And from there, uh, you can run them and play them, and you don't have to download any software. And I thank you for taking time to, to listen to this, and I hope it was uh, informative and, and useful.